Hello, welcome to the third episode of Tiny Nest. I'm Kiva. And I'm Jake. This series will follow our tiny house project from the early stages all the way through to completion and beyond. This episode is about our layout and design. So we've watched lots of tiny house tour videos, seen different layouts, and even seen some tumbleweed plans. And we decided early on that we wanted to make a design that suited our needs specifically. So I learned a 3D modeling program called SketchUp to help us make a very accurate layout. Here's what we have so far. So this was our original design. We modeled it after a tiny house that we visited in Portland, Oregon, having the bathroom take up one end of the trailer. And we liked that idea, so we tried putting the rest of the things we wanted into the remaining portion of the house, but found that it felt a bit awkward. And note that in this design, the loft would be on the left half in this view, meaning over top of the bathroom and the kitchen. We then progressed to moving the bathroom into the middle of the trailer and splitting it into two rooms. This gave us a little hallway and kind of separated the living room from the kitchen. We stole the bathroom concept from a tumbleweed tour that we saw, and when we applied it to the rest of what we wanted to include in the house, it fit really well. When adding the loft to this design, it made sense to put it over top of the TV slash living room because we'd most likely be seated when in that area. As opposed to in the kitchen where you'd be standing up to cook, so the extra headroom just made more sense. And it also makes for a good entry point into the house. We found that the common tiny house layout of having the loft over top of the kitchen was not desirable to us. Most tiny house layouts that we've seen have the loft over top of the kitchen, which makes it seem a bit cramped whereas having it over top of the living space doesn't have the same effect. In fact, it makes it a little bit cozy. This is the precise model that we're working with now, and I will make another video that goes over the actual construction elements that you're seeing going up here in more detail. But to give you an idea of how we've managed to fit everything into the layout and where the windows go and everything, here is the framing, and I'll add in the uh, furniture. Here I've removed the front wall so you can see in a bit better. We plan on having a custom-built corner couch in the TV area. We managed to fit in a very small sink into the toilet room, and the shower room is just the shower. And then in the kitchen we have a good amount of countertop space. And just to give you an idea of the cabinets that we intend to fit in, uh, we have some uppers in the kitchen there, a coat and shoe closet in the entryway. Uh, this houses a standalone fridge oh, and freezer. And there's also some pantry shelving there. And then going up into the loft, we've created a, an equivalent to the hallway below where you pass between two sets of storage on either side, and then up in the sleeping space there's also some storage that faces inwards. And then also down here in the TV room there's a shelving unit to hold a computer and other uh, things for that space. And this is a space allocated for the electrical panel and some of the components for the lighting system that I have planned. I also wanted to note that we have chosen many of the appliances and fixtures that you see added into this model, but we'll make a separate video to go over them in more detail. We were happy that we were able to create three distinct areas in such a small space. Here's a little preview of the rest of the structure. And just to show you where our windows are, we've got a couple around the TV room a couple around where the bed sits, with one large enough to be a second means of egress, two for the corner of the kitchen, and one for each of the toilet and shower rooms. I just want to add a note that the SketchUp file will be made available for download in the description. Hang on there. This is Jake from the future. 
and I've come back to the past to update this information. Actually, we had to re-upload this video, so I thought I might as well add in more accurate direction on where to go for our SketchUp stuff. So, as you'll see if you keep watching this series, which you definitely should, our 3D model translated really well into the real world, and we basically used it as our plans. So I've gone ahead and made a full-blown SketchUp tutorial that shows how to use the program, and then more specifically gets into like tiny house layouts, the structure, and how you can manipulate our design, and we have that for sale as a standalone package. But you can still get just the project file, which is available for download by donation. And this is all on our website. And we're constantly changing and adding things to the website, but at the time of filming this, there's a design section that has all the SketchUp stuff that I just described. There's a build section, which is pretty simple. It just has our YouTube series and how to follow us on social media to keep up with us in real time. And we've recently added a recommendation section that shows how you can get our discount on Iron Eagle trailers. And there's also an Amazon store with lists of things that we either use or recommend. Then there's a newsletter you can sign up for. There's a photo section where we've added like hundreds of photos that haven't been shown anywhere else that's integrated through Flickr. And then there's a contact us section where you can contact us directly via email. So there's the whole pitch. You should check out our website, especially if you're interested in the 3D modeling stuff. And we hope that you'll keep watching this series because there's a long way to go. So I'll send it back to Kiva and Jake in the past. Thanks for watching our design video. Subscribe if you want to watch the rest of our project unfold. We'll be building within a month. And leave a comment below if you have any suggestions or clever storage ideas or just general comments about our design. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next episode. If you want to see some of our previous videos, click on the preview tiles. And subscribe if you want to follow our progress. You can also visit our website here.